Yo there guys, what is up Loot Gamers and today we are playing Terraria Xbox One Edition and of course we are playing on the Ausa playthrough. I hope you enjoyed last episode guys, if you want to check it out please do and if you are enjoying this series then do remember to smash that like button because it really does help and I've noticed a decrease in views recently. And I don't think that's anything to do with you guys, so don't worry about that, but I think it's like YouTube and all the new rules and regulations they're putting in. So it would really help if you can leave a like on this video um, and the previous videos, which would be awesome. Because a lot of people are keep to ask me, Luke, where is the Ausa's lovely world and where's your expert mode series? And I've been posting it as normal like two to three times a week, but people aren't getting the notifications and yeah. So one, two, three. We have three strange plants. So we got the reflective metal die, the reflective silver die, and the glowing mushroom die. Now I think I'm gonna save all my strange plants from now on, um, up until hard mode, because well, it's pretty useless using them in pre-hard mode because well, you don't get all the dies. That's yeah, it is what it is. So let's go to our little farm here, and we're going to get all these blink words. Here we go, beautiful, and we've got some water leaves there as well. We can place some new ones down here, and then did we get any other seeds? No, we did not, so let's go put those in here. Here we go, I was hoping for more seeds, to be honest, I'm not going to lie. I was hoping I'd get loads more seeds so I could plant them all back down, but turns out I don't give me them. So let's uh, just trash those quickly. Well, not trash them, but put them in nearby chests. There we go, lovely. Okay, so let's continue now and let's go on and hopefully we can defeat a Queen Bee today. I wanted to fight the Queen Bee since I've got the Molten Armor now. I'm a little bit stronger um, and yeah, I just think that I could probably take him down. So I'm really hoping that I can today. I don't know how it's going to go, but... Yeah, I reckon the water bar mixed with the ruthless code one, and I don't know. We've got, we've also got the katana now as well, which is auto swing, of course. So we can just, like, yeah, it's like one of the earliest auto swing weapons, and it's super strong in my opinion. So we could do some proper good damage with that. So I'm gonna head over to the jungle biome. Let's do this, and let's go fight the queen bee. So here we are over our jungle biome now. You might wonder why I want to fight the queen bee. And it's mainly because I want to get the bee's knees. Because a lot of people are saying it's amazing uh, in pre-hard mode and really strong. So I did want to give it a go to see if I could get it. But we'll see what happens today. And uh, we'll see if we can get the bee's knees. So yeah, we're just going to fire out these first off. I'm going to dodge him there. Beautiful. And all those should go for him. As soon as we've done that, we're going to use our katana. I mean, of course, the katana can keep up. And then when he's a bit away from us, we're going to use the code 1. Go, beautiful, look at that, look at that. Okay, so we're just going to move around again, jump up. There we are. You might say, why don't you dodge and dash, but I'm not very good at doing that, to be fair, like that. Whereas it did the damage, but I'm not very good at doing that at all. Like, seriously. So now we've, we've got the katana, we can actually do this. Which, which is amazing. But yeah, it didn't actually get near us, so we couldn't do much there. Anyway, let's go down here and get the uh, honey effect. There we go, lovely. There we are. Beautiful. Let's uh, do that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Do we have it? Yep, we have it on up. Okay. So uh, someone was telling me why don't I use the quick selects as well. It's like, why don't I put uh, quick heal on it? It's mainly because I get really confused with it. But I might put it on my D-pad slot because I don't use the D-pad slot that much anyway. So I might just use like quick heal and quick, uh, yeah, you know, you know, I think it'd be a good idea to do that, you know. Oh, come on. I need to get <laughs> I need to get the yo-yo thing so I can extend my reach of this. I really do. Because it, it doesn't go very far, does it? <laughs> it doesn't go far at all. Right, let's jump up. And then we're going to get some water bolts in, inbound. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Get a few more water bolts in there. Beautiful. And then we're going to get the uh, beacon back on again. There we are, lovely. And I wish I had some sort of like range weapon. Like I said, this is why I really want the bee's knees. Because I, I feel like that's going to be a great weapon. It really is. Right, the bee, I, I think the bees, these will be awesome anyway. I really do. I really do think it's going to be a, a great investment. Fantastic investment there. Uh, I really do think that's going to be awesome. So what I might do, um, do I swap my armor out or not? Because I'm quite low as it is, to be fair. Quite low as it is. So yeah, the bees are where I can uh, gain a bit of life back, hopefully. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. There we go. Nice damage there. Nice damage. Keep it going. Keep it going. I love it when it does the bee attack, because I can literally attack with my katana, which does tons of damage. Like, literally tons of damage. Right, let's get the quick heal in from that, and boom. There we are, lovely. As it gets less and less life as well, it starts going faster and does more attacks. So we've got to be very, very careful. Come on, be, do the bee attack again. Don't do that rubbish attack. 
Okay, I hate that attack. It's annoying. Oh, we've got the Rufus Scud one in there. Come on, do the B attack already. Do the B attack. Do, do, do the B attack. Do it. Yeah, that's it. That's that's the one we want. That's the one we want. Come on. No, you didn't do it for long enough. Now I've got to send my bees out on you again. Now I've got to get my bees out on the Queen Bee again. Bees, attack your master. That's it. Sweet. Let's get some water bolts in here. Bounce around a little bit. Bu -bu 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 -bu. Let's get some healing in there. Oh, come on. Do your charge attack already. No. No charge attack. All right. We get the water bolt in there. Bu -bu 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 -bu. That was not for very long that they did that attack for. Okay. That was not very long at all. Are you gonna are you gonna actually like do something now or what? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. I really want them to do the charge attack. I'm not sure why he's not doing the charge attack. Nobody does it like so often, and now it's not just doing it all. Oh, there you go. There's the charge attack. <laughs> That's the charge attack we've been waiting for. There we go. Let's get the hurtful bee gun in, and the charge attack should be a little bit more frequent in a second, probably. I don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. We'll soon see. We will soon see. To be honest, the Queen Bee shouldn't be doing this much damage. To, well, it shouldn't be proving this much of a pain to defeat. I don't know why it is, to be fair. But yeah, it just is. No idea. That's it. No. Okay, Queen Bee's doing an attack again. Get back. Heal up again. Boom. One more charge attack, and we should be good. Yeah, there we are. Look at that. Look at that. That's mega damage right there. That is mega damage right there. Come on. We're going to get more bees. No, the bees disappear too fast. I swear the bees disappear way too fast. More bees there. Beautiful. Space gun inbound. Why not? Uh, maybe not. The, the space gun's actually not that strong, to be fair. I need to use my code one more. There we are. Charge attack again. Charge track again. Beautiful. Bees, do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing, honey. Charge attack again. There we are. Just, just going to get my bees on him again. There we are. Beautiful. We are good at dodging here. That's it. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. We can heal up again in a second, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Stop hitting me with those things. Okay. Okay, don't charge attack me now. And we're going to heal up. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Let's get that inbound again. Get some healing from here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And there we are. We have no mana. So we're just going to try and use this on the Queen Bee, which isn't working. We go a bit more. Okay, charge attack again. You're doing charge attack? Yep, yep. Thought so. Stop, stop doing it so fast. <laughs> <laughs> right, there we go. We're going to defeat it soon anyway. Which is good. Just one da they only do one damage? No way do they only do one damage. That's that. No way. No way is that only doing one damage. It's rubbish, man. There we are. Let's get down here. We. Whoa, that was dodging. Dodging master right there. Look at that. Dodging master right there. I thought that did more damage. We need to use a space gun, really, don't we? We need to heal up again any minute now. So let's just keep let's just keep attacking. We'll keep the attacks going, pressing strong. Let's heal up again. There we go. So close, so close, but so far. <laughs> there we go. Right, sweet. Get the water gun on there. Wa uh, water gun. PB <laughs> gun. There we are. There we are. Jumped it again. Jumped it again. Hey, we're jumping it. We're jumping it. It's a beautiful. Come on, she's almost dead. Come on, Queen Bee. There we go. Oh, what a dodge. What a dodge master. Dodging master right there. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. We're almost dead. No way. We can't even heal up. We can't even heal up. We're almost dead. No way. How is the Queen Bee doing this to me? The Queen Bee is destroying me. And I legit mean destroy me. Why is my, my minion should be doing more damage than this, surely? Do more damage. You're a minion for a reason, you know. Do more damage, minion. Come on, minion. 
Minions, do more damage. Come on. Come on, minion. Fire. That's it. Fire away. Fire away, minion. Okay. Heal up. <laughs> no. Come on. No. No, 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 no. Almost dead. Come on. This is this has got to be it now. Surely. Surely that's it. No. There we go. Boom. Woo. I started to actually... <laughs> Doubt myself there. No potions. No, I've just realized we, we removed the uh, heart lanterns from here as well. So no heart lanterns. No potions. Just our arm. We got wet good armor. But man, that was hard. Please give me the bee's knees for that. Please. I beg. Oh. Did we get... Oh, we did not get it. Oh, no, we did. We did get it. Huh? <laughs> no way. No way. Wait, what? It fires... What? It fires... Turns wooden arrows into a column of bees. What? But the bees don't attack directly. Do... Wait, what? Do they attack directly? I don't understand. They sort of don't... They don't, they, they don't like attack directly, but what if they hit a wall? Oh, so they do. So when they hit the floor, so it's good to hit the floor with them then, and then the bees can go and attack. Man, that's cool. That's a lot better than the bee gun, I gotta tell you that now. Well, I'm about to stop, stock up on uh, wooden arrows then, so I can use that. Man, I did not think that was that powerful. Really? What? I really didn't think that was that powerful. Man, that's awesome. Right, let's uh, quick stack by near chests. There we go. That gets rid of half of our things. And then we can shove these all in here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Beautiful. All right, well, I didn't think I had that battle at all. I should have used my mini... Why didn't I use my mini shark? Anyway, so let's buy a load of uh, arrows so that we don't run out. I don't want to... I'd hate to run out of arrows. I really would. Where's the merchant? Have I got him? Oh, pfft, wrong thing. We do have the merchant. But he's nowhere to be seen. Oh, he's outside, that's why. There he is. Hello, Lewis. Say to him. Sell me a few of your best arrows, please. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate that a lot. Right, we're just going to stock up on these arrows then. And then once we're stocked up on these arrows, we're going to go explore in the dungeon biome. Because the dungeon is quite fun to fight. Yeah, we should. That should be all right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah. Let's get rid of our beacon as well, because we're not going to use that. And um. Well, I've got so many weapons on me, because I'm not sure which ones to use. Yet. I'm not going to use the star fury, am I? Nah, I'm not going to use star fury. Get rid of that. And then we're going to get rid of the hurtful beacon. And then yeah, that, that seems good to me. That seems good to me. So we're going to head out to the dungeon, which is to the right. Yes, it is. All right, let's head out to the dungeon. And then once we've head out to the dungeon, we'll try to get ourselves a cobalt shield. I'm pretty sure we got a gold key last time as well. Don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if I picked it up, but I did look in the chest that's uh, there. And I, I think that I just had so much stuff in my inventory that I just, well, I didn't pick it up. So, we're going to go there then. Let's head to the dungeon. I'll see you when I'm there, guys. Anything interesting happens, I'll keep it on. But I'll see you there, guys. Let's do this. Here we are now over at the scary dungeon where we had to defeat the Skeletron plenty of times. But I'm dreading this place. i tell you why. The dungeon in expert mode is no joke. It really isn't. Especially with the gear I've got. It is no joke. Trust me, guys. So, what we're out here for mainly is the Cobalt Shield. Yeah, I didn't loot it. Okay, so mainly I'm out here for the Cobalt Shield, like I say. That's like the number, number one thing that I want from here. I'm just hoping that I can actually live. But we can live now without getting absolutely destroyed. Alright, it'd be good to uh, get a, what do you call it, a Nazar now as well? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no way, no way, no way. We got after the first kill. No way. <laughs> what? No way did that just happen. There, there is no way. What even? What even right now? I don't I can't even I can't even. <laughs> Man, that was insane. Man, oh, oh, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I cannot believe we got that off the first one. Shine potion. Let's use it. 
Let's use it. We'll emit an aura of, aura of light on us. So let's use that shine potion. I can't believe we got... The Nazar's always a thing that I struggle on getting. Like, it just is. And I don't know why. I just always struggle on getting it. And to get out of the first kill is insane. Man, I don't know if anyone else ever struggles on getting the Nazar. But man, I do all the time. Oh, that painting looks nice. I'm going to take that. Glory of Fire. Ooh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. A lot of cursed schools, isn't there? A lot of cursed schools. I'm not liking it. Not liking it at all. Okay, there's a mage there. Let's take him out fast. And then we can take this dude out fast as well. Beautiful. All right, is that a chest? It is indeed. And we have the Maramossa. Okay, that's the one of the other... Uh, oh, I just thought something. We didn't put... I got... You know what? We have a portable piggy bank, so we can shove it in there. <laughs> right, let's put go. I don't want to lose my coins, that's all. And we can spend our coins while they're in there anyway. So it's not a problem for us, is it? Not at all. Okay, so we have some good weapons. Let's just uh, keep going down. I like the structure of this one, actually. I'm quite liking the structure of this dungeon. It's quite straightforward. Oh, <laughs> I'm not liking the structure of that, though. Oh, my. Well, let's get some water bolts in there. Let's get them all bouncing around so we can take all those out. Man, that's crazy. Let's get some bees knees in there as well. Yep, that's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, bees knees all over the place. All right, cool, 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 cool. Now, let's get some uh, katanas going as well. Uh, there's only one left, so we'll use the katana to fight this one. Beautiful. They are very strong, aren't they? And I underestimate them. All right, we'll take that as well. Why not? Beautiful. We've got the bone warp painting. Fantastic. Uh, always good to open up these pots if you are in pre-hard mode. Because, of course, the pots do have a chance of giving you gold keys. And if that's what you're looking out for, then, well, you're in luck. I sort of spam this, even though I could just literally click it. Well, let's put some more of these down. We have torches down here as well. The water torches, which are very, very scary. Spooky. Oh, we got a firing water bolts at me there. Caster's done. Oh, did he just drop a key? Did he just drop a gold key? Oh, no, it was a bone. I thought he dropped a gold key, that's all. That would have been lit if he did. Right, okay, let's keep going. Right, I like I like in this dungeon so far. It's quite straightforward and quite uh, all in one place, so it's good. There we go, beautiful. The bee's knees is, the bee's knees is powerful, isn't it? I've got to admit, it is real powerful. I underestimate it. A lot of people have been telling me to get it, that's all. And I thought, well, is there much point since I've got the, the uh, bee gun? But there is. There really is much point. There really is. Seriously. But it doesn't beat the water bolt. Not at all. The water bolt you can spam. Have loads of it. There we go. Look at that. we just got a golden key as well. Sweet. But, you know, the bee's knees is good. Right, we've got to... Hey, we've got the cobalt shield. There we go. We'll do it a little bit more. But again, um, I, I think... Yeah, that's, that's basically what I wanted, the Cobalt Shield. Because now we can make the uh, Obsidian Shield as well. Which is very, very good. Very good. Awesome. Right, let's keep going anyway. Let's put some torches down on the way. Oh, is that an Alchemy Station as well? We'll take that. We will take that very, very easily. So, oh no, I've been hit with the... Uh, I hate that buff because you can't use things. That's a bad thing about these core schools. That's why um, it's good to use the Nazar when you're down here. Okay, we've got an alchemy table as well, so we can make more potions. I think that's more for um, hard mode potions, though, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Might not be, but I think it is. Okay, here we go. It's another water bolt there that we don't need. Okay, another angry bone. So let's uh, grab some celestial water bolts in there. Beautiful. Let's keep on going. Is there any more chests down here? You know what? I feel like taking this book place. Because we're going to need one anyway. Because uh, if we want to make um, a lot of magic weapons, you need a book bookshelf. So, it's good. Wait, we're, we're picking up all sorts of furniture here. Give me all your furniture, lads. Yes. All right, we can't get through there because we need to destroy the that side. Wonderful. This dungeon is very strange. Like, very strange. Lots of hearts. Gotta, gotta keep my eye on my health bar. Because I always underestimate things down here. And, um... Oh, the bow mechanic as well. Very, very good. Very good. Which means we can get wires. We'll take uh, the shark statue. Prana. Oh, it's a prana statue. All right, we'll take the prana statue. Whatever. Same same thing. It's very, very good. We're all trash that and trash that. The bow mechanic. Let's get you. I guess that's a good thing to be down here then. Because the bow mechanic's amazing to have. 
I totally forgot about the I'm not going to lie. I did forget about the bow mechanic. <laughs> so now we can actually make uh, some easy, simple traps, which is good. Oh, no. No, this is where it gets hard. Now, now this is where it splits. And you've got to decide, well, do I go this way or that way? And I think I'm going to go this way for now. Yeah, because this, like, cuts off, I think. Water walking potion as well. Wonderful. Let's put some torches down on the way. Let's keep on going. I just take it down with the bees. These took down. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. What's this? War drone or something? No idea. I think you can change your uh, outfit there. Right, bees knee. Uh, water bot time, not bees knees. Water bot time. There we go. Beautiful. We're bolstering this. I know we're on a bit of low life, but. Yeah, we're bolstering this. Right, let's keep going. Hey, there's a gold chest. Beautiful. And we've got the aqua scepter, which isn't too bad. Oh! <gasps> No. Ah, poop. I've just withdrew everything in. That's, ah, that's messed me up. Well, let's get rid of the glow sticks. We don't need those. We need to get all of our stuff back, man. Right. Uh, what else did we just pick up? We'll get rid of the wood. Okay, we don't need wood for now. We don't need dynamite either. All right, we don't need that dynamite. That's going to be a thing. We've got that and that. And then we're going to get rid of the uh, potions. Grab our switch back. Beautiful. Wait, do I need the switch? I'm just thinking, do, do I actually need a switch? Anyway, whatever. Let's keep going. 